Let's get sick there. Hello and welcome to Glaswegian Geeks. We've got a nice little a mobile game review this time. James? Yes, today we're reviewing the Power Rangers Legacy mobile yes, game. Yes, Legacy. Power uh, Legacy Wars, I believe. Legacy Wars, yes. yes. Uh, if you're a fan of the Power Rangers, great. If you're not, great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice little mobile game. Uh, a lot of people reviewing it on the apps, uh, app stores and stuff. Oh, it's un unplayable and stuff. No, it is playable, but it has its restrictions. It's a mobile game. You're not, for a free mobile game, a pay-to-win mobile game, it's, it's pretty pay decent. It's pay-to-win? Yeah, it's got add-ons that you can pay in the store for power crystals and power coins. Oh, which sounds... obviously is your currency for unlocking uh, boxes and the like, characters and upgrading your characters yes yeah um I, i've only played a bit of it you've played more of it yes. but i get the i get the feeling that it plays a bit it's kind of like the injustice mobile game yes it's quite slow and quite it, it plays like it expect. in the way that it's side by side fighter but it's it's done in a kind of card based game you get three options that change every time you could get one of you start off, uh, you choose your leader, and you choose two assist characters, which can be a variety of different characters, villains or heroes, different rangers from different eras and different uh, series. Uh -huh. Different powers, different attacks, health. And also, which I noticed, the more that you level up your assist characters, the higher your health is. So it's always good to have a high-powered assist in that way. But also, your attacks... This is where the game takes a major downturn. You get 10 energy, which regenerates over a couple of seconds, but it's a major issue when someone's about to do an attack and you don't have energy or an energy to hit a quick move or a block to stop their move. And and there's no way to really dodge anything. There is a couple like kind of weird dodges where someone can fire an energy blast that's just moving along the screen and if you just keep on swiping your finger moving your character you can dodge it which is kind of unfair and there's actually no jump so it's just basic side to side you know what your problem is i'm you expecting too much you lack, I lack skill. skill you lack skill there's a system and you're i'm just good with my fingers it. no he is not not that i would know but uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I get the impression that it's very much like that, but I mean, you know, you have to be tactful and yes. you use your energy and stuff like that. It's not my kind of game. I like my consoles where things move faster. Don't ever expect a Power Rangers game on console. Yeah, uh, you never know. Y you'll probably get one, but one like this I highly doubt, and I wouldn't, because, you know, Classic Vita, Repulsa isn't in it, and Classic Vita is amazing. Well, sh it might be added later. There, there are uh, a good number of characters involved in your leader and your assist characters so i'd imagine as time goes on much like uh game mobile games like star trek timelines they're constantly adding in new ships they're constantly adding in new characters mm. so maybe once it gets footing and gets a little bit more you know money because money's always good for people they'll add in classic more more classic characters i just, I just it's, the, it's, the, it's this pay to win element because like you say you can upgrade your health you can do yes. that and you can make yourself more of a challenge to people i don't think any game should really be pay to win pay for cosmetic stuff like you know characters and stuff like that yeah. fine but if you're paying to be like so like, to just to get in this un game, all the unlocks right away or uh they do a kind of same with star trek time li timelines that's a pay to win kind of thing uh when I downloaded the game, you got a chance to purchase the Green Ranger, the classic Green Ranger from the original series, which, you know, if if that's your thing, then buy it, you know? It's not a normal unlock, but it's a case but of... It's vanity. It's, a, it's pay to win, like you said, vanity. And I will say this every time I've went up against a character that has been using the Green Ranger, I've been fucking tanked. Well, like I say, look at games like uh, Uncharted Four, right? Where a lot of the stuff you can unlock is vanity yeah. and stuff like that. You can unlock, you can unlock new guns and stuff, but really, you can't do anything unless you're good enough with them. So it's like you know, most of Uncharted and like 
these things that are, are vanity things, and that's fine. But you shouldn't really, you know, if you're if a game relies on buying things to make you better than everyone else, then you know it, it's irrelevant. I don't I don't yeah. approve of it. I don't think it's right. So, you know, um, whoever's spending money on that is in serious need of help, in my opinion, because I don't think you should be paying to be better at something because y- you'll always be shit. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it's. <laughs> What, what would you review it? Let's uh, think of it. Mobile game. So you're not expecting a massive triple A mm, title. Yeah, no, no, totally. Um, even then, like, if I was to rate it, like, I would think probably like five. It's not great. It's got a lot of problems. But Graphically, it's it's, bu- uh, it's beautiful for a fighting mobile. game. Yeah, for a mobile game. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, for sounds as well. Actually, none of the characters have any voices. So it's just your attacks and stuff, which oh, no is it's <laughs> it, it, they could have went a little bit farther and maybe got the voiceovers of characters being Even hit then, or something. You know what I mean? It's like you know those little things add to it and make it bigger and make it more of what it is. It is just a casual fighter. It's um, it, it, it's so bare bones basic, but. It does. It does look decent for a mobile game. It does look good on that level. Um, it's not the kind of thing I would download, play, yeah. and really pay for. But it's you know it's it's good. It it, it it does its job. If you're into Tower Rangers and you know you want that little bit extra, then yeah, totally download it. It's free. Yeah, it's a it's a free to download, uh, but Until also pay to win if you want to buy add-ons. Uh, I would rate it as a mobile game. Uh, I've I've played every day (laughs) since I downloaded it. It, it, It's addictive. Uh, I would say maybe maybe a 6 out of 10. The limitations of fighting, you're having to, you you can't jump up, you can't jump over the character, you can't really move from your left or right side of the screen, you can only move towards the enemy or away from them. There's no way to block certain moves. There's Maybe yeah, over blocking with some like stuff, and you're slowed down so much by how the your number of energy in some of your moves. Some of your moves take up five points. Some can take as little as two. So if you're hitting out a five and then another five, obviously it does. The game's balanced to allow a, an enjoyable experience. But if I'm tanking someone, I'm fucking dominating them. So I want the match over with right away. So I need to wait around longer. To win a match, and also speaking of which, uh, I don't know if it's maybe a connection issue. It's if it's a true PvP instead of a player against a computerized version of my stats and my characters. But sometimes uh, maybe their connection issue, or it's happened to me. I've, I've had a poor connection, and their character is motionless, and I'm getting a perfect uh, game. So there is there is that to think of as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, everything has its issues. It's it's literally just been put out for the film. Yes. You don't expect much from it. Um, you know, we've moved away from the times of when, you know, games were being made for consoles based on films, you know, like, the last one I played was an Iron Man one. Yeah. It's based off yeah. the movie, do you know what I mean? Um, they've went away from that and now they go to mobile and stuff like that because it's more, you know, open and accepting of those kind of things, like, and that's how that is. So I mean, for a mobile game that's to advertise a film, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's not something I'd go out my way to play. But like, as a user, yeah, I, I, I'm a I'm obviously their target demographic right here. I'm what can I say? I like what, Power Rangers. What is the the target? A, a, a nerdy man who likes wrestling. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, I think that's it. I think that's all we can really talk about. Yes, that's all I can say about. It. That's all I can say about it. Um, unless th- I get a classic Vita costume, I'm not playing it because classic Vita is amazing. Halloween, mate, your time will come. What when I dress up as? Uh, yay! Well, and on that note, good night and geek out, guys. <laughs>